What's up, SL? I'm Sydney. And I'm Lauren, and we're your anchors for today's newscast. So, Laura, are you a safe driver? I'd like to think, to think so. Well, even if you are, it doesn't hurt to be reminded to drive safely on our Michigan roads in the winter. Let's check out a video. supposed to put the key in the ignition way before we get in the car and drive so the car can get warm. It's the middle of winter. It's too cold out here. It's on me, but yes, you're right. I'm sorry. I forgot to turn on the car before I got it. Roasting on an open fire, it is warm and toasty in here. Yeah, that's because I actually turned it on 15 minutes before we got in the car. It's too snowy, I can't drive today. Fifteen thousand accidents occur during the winter time. Don't be a part of the statistic. Thanks for the tips, TV1. Hey, ninth graders and really everyone, are you interested in doing a last minute review slash study session? Do you need a little extra help with some of your subjects before exams? Come and join the Link Crew sponsored Cram for Cookies event, which will be held in the Media Center on Ma Monday, January 24th from 2.15 to 3.45 p.m. Cookies, goodie bags, and hot cocoa packets will be raffled off. NHS and Link Crew tutors will be there to help you out as well. This is open to not only ninth graders, but to all grades. And some teachers will also be available to assist as well. Let's check out a flyer for some more information. Now let's pass it over to Simeon with the weather. What up, SL? It's Simeon with the weather. Today there is a low of 12 and a high of 29 with cloudy skies. Before we take a look at the forecast, let me tell you a joke. How do mountains stay warm? So, how do mountains stay warm? They put on their snow caps. That's all for the weather. Let's hope it warms up soon because this cold weather ain't pee. Now let's send it back over to those anchors. Thanks, Simeon. Also, don't forget, January 28th is the last day to guarantee a yearbook as well as the last chance to order a personalized book. I'll be sure to get one. Now let's pass it over to Christian with the sports. What's poppin' SL? It's Christian here with the sports. Boys Hockey has a game tonight at home. They will take on Rockford at 6. Come on, support. <clears throat> baseball is lifting and conditioning on Mondays and Wednesdays from 7.30 to 9. Make sure to bring your baseball mitt. Also, any sophomores interested in any hitting groups should contact Coach Stevenson. There is a mandatory meeting for golf if you're interested in trying out. If you have any questions or concerns prior to the meeting, please contact Mr. Goshorn or meet him in room A206. The competitive cheer team got second in their competition this past Wednesday. Let's check out some highlights.
<laughs> That's all I got for sports, now back over to those anchors. Thanks, Christian. If you are interested in taking the seal of biliteracy test, applications are due by January 21st to student services. Senior video's first raffle has been posted. If you are a senior and would like to enter to receive a $10 gift card to either Chick-fil-A or Tropical Smoothie, then send in a video from high school, one from middle school, and one from elementary school to enter. You can get a second submission entry if you submit a video from either a sport you were involved in or were a fan of this year, or a video from an SL event of some kind. Send submission to the email below or DM the Instagram by February 1st. Although I'm very excited to get an extended weekend, let's take a moment to remember why we are off on Monday and honor Martin Luther King Jr.'s legacy in his fight for civil rights. where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. The March on Washington served as a massive push for economic and political justice for African Americans. Held during the year celebrating the 100th anniversary of the Emancipation Proclamation, crowds marched on the National Mall to watch a variety of musical performances and speeches. Dr. King, a Baptist preacher and prominent civil rights leader, was scheduled to speak towards the end of the day, his debut on the national stage. Up until that point, King mostly addressed small crowds at black churches, rallies, or fundraisers. This time, he would be seen by nearly 250,000 people on the ground, as well as millions at home watching on television. This was an opportunity to reach a wide audience and persuade the public and the government to take action against racial injustice. The night before, King worked with a close group of advisors to get the speech just right. They worked through the night, settling on a final draft in the pre-dawn hours of August 28th. Interestingly, the phrase, I have a dream, a phrase he used in earlier speeches, was nowhere to be found in this copy. The words wouldn't manifest until almost halfway into Dr. King's speech, when gospel singer Mahalia Jackson, who had performed earlier in the day, called out to him from the sidelines to tell them about the dream. King set his prepared remarks aside and improvised the rest, crafting a soaring speech that would sear into the minds of millions of Americans. No, we are not satisfied and we will not be satisfied until justice rolls down like waters and righteousness like a mighty stream. The speech was divided into two parts. The first listed the injustices that African Americans faced, segregation, police brutality, disenfranchisement, and discrimination, and urged a call to nonviolent action. The second launched into King's dream of peace and racial harmony, a vision of a future in which people will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream. Highlighting King's skills as a preacher, I have a dream was part sermon and part poetry, using rhetorical devices like repetition, rhyme and vivid metaphor to drive his points home. It was peppered with historic, biblical and literary references that moved the crowd. This message of struggle and hope became the defining moment not only of King's career, but also the civil rights movement. Both the speech and the March on Washington were credited with helping secure the passage of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 a landmark piece of legislation that ended segregation and banned discrimination on the basis of race or sex in the workplace. Free at last! Free at last! Thank God Almighty! We are free at last! Well, Estelle, that's all I've got for you today. We'll see you next Wednesday for more news. Hey,
Feeling good.